Let's see if we can add 9.087 to 15.31. And I encourage you to pause the video and try to do it on your own. So I'm assuming you have tried to do it on your own, and now let's see how we could actually tackle this. Now, one thing I want to point out, some of you all might see these numbers all lined up and immediately want to say, hey, 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 3 is 11, carry the 1, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you did that, you would be making a mistake. Because you see right over here, these decimals aren't lined up. Here, you, if you did that, you would be adding the 7 thousandths to 1 hundredths. You would be adding 0 tenths to 5 ones. You would be adding 9 to 1 tens, or essentially this is a 10 right over here. So the places would be all mixed up. So what you need to do is actually align the decimals so that your place values are aligned. So what you want to do is you want to align things up. So we could write 9. 0.087, and then we want to align the decimal. So let's align the decimal. This is what has to match up, and this is going to be 15.31. And this should hopefully make sense to you as well. This is 9 point something plus 15 point something. So it's going to be, if you add 9 to 15, you get it'll be 24 point something, give or take a little bit. So and you see that here, that here you have a 9 plus the 15. So you've lined up the appropriate place values. And now we are ready, we are ready to add. It's a good idea to start with the smallest place value. So if you have any extra in a certain place, you can bring into some you could bring something into the next place value. So here you say 7 plus, well, I don't this is 7 thousandths, it's in the thousandths place. And you might want to, you say, well, what do I add it to? There's no thousandths right over here. And you're right, there are no thousandths, so we could literally write zero thousandths. So seven thousandths plus zero thousandths is seven thousandths. Eight hundredths plus one hundredth is nine hundredth. Zero plus zero tenths plus three tenths is three tenths. We got our decimal. And then you have nine ones plus five ones is 14 ones. Well, 14 ones is the same thing as four ones and one ten. So we'll carry that one right over there. But this is just one ten plus four ones is 14. And so then finally you have one ten plus another ten is two. So we get 24.397.